All right, guys. Well, I started having trouble with the plasma cutter again, and I'm not sure if I have a hose that busted inside or or what exactly is going on. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open it up again. And I know I've been away from uh, YouTube a while, had some things go on, and you know stuff. <laughs> And there's just two screws here on top. And I need like a little magnet deal. Maybe if I flip this over. So one screw came out there. Put these two screws on the side before I lose them. I don't know why this little piece of uh, sheet metal here gets stuck. There we go. So what I gotta do now is get my compressor out here and see exactly where uh, where I'm leaking. It might have been this that was uh, loose here. Hmm, that seems good in there. And y'all can see all the, well, you can see all the white uh, moisture in there and on this filter here, all the, the stuff that built up in there. All right guys, well, I went ahead and took off the little bowl here. Uh, we can see all of that coming out of the the filter itself. Watch me break the bowl. So I'm thinking all this white stuff here is probably causing issues there. Alright guys, so I went ahead and put the hose here, but uh I went ahead and took off the, the bowl on that external filter there. And I'm still trying to find out what the hell. I don't know if it's uh, just scaling. I, I don't know. But um, I just wanted to clear this out before I plug my hose back in there. Put my O-ring back on here and hopefully it stays on place there. There we go. So now I'm going to open the air tank here and see what it does. Yeah, so it's just, it's this unit here in the inside.
So even though I have a an external regulator there, it seems like all the the junk got built up in here in the bottom. And I guess my valve ain't, ain't sealing correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put water in here, rinse it out, and uh, see if that helps. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and wiped it all down, and I'm not saying it doesn't take care of the issue there. But we'll find out what happens right now in a bit. So I'm just using this piece here just to to pull that out. And now I gotta put the little little lock washer here or the and it looks like it's in there I'm just gonna yank this out a little bit yeah I think we're good so I'm gonna pop this in place Push that up. Put the air hose back on here. Put some pressure. So I think basically that was the issue we're having that the little uh, auto drain valve there was probably uh, stuck open with all the breeze in there. You know, looks like cocaine or something. But anyways, uh, it actually reminds me of uh, the plaster for the sheetrock, but I haven't been using this compressor for sheetrock, you know, before this happened. So right now the only leak I have is here, but everything seems good here on the bottom and this seems good already so basically just a uh, routine maintenance and um, if all this junk is getting in here that means this is not doing its job so I'm gonna have to find a different uh, different filter to put out here because it's gonna be a pain in the pain in the ass <laughs> to uh, take the lid on and off and just to be uh, cleaning that valve but um, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Um, found the leak and um, yeah. So We'll just put the little 
drain pipe that way. Took off the the pressure from my compressor there. Sometimes these uh these lids like to fight with you most of the damn <laughs> they fight with you a lot. Come on, guy. Get in there. All right, guys. Well, that's the assembly there. The next thing to do to resolve this would be to find the appropriate external filter. And I didn't want to over filter, but, um, it looks like I'm going to have to add another one, maybe on the outside of my compressor, and then just leave this one here so I don't have too much overhang or, or you know, have to have a 90 and put another filter here or whatever. But, um, yeah, I got to find a way to get all that junk out of there. Might have been just water or that scaled up calcium. Who knows? But uh, we should be good to go now. All right, guys. Bye-bye.